so the next thing we're going to do is remove these borders. And we're going to remove these borders now using custom CSS, right? Everything we've done so far has just been drag and drop and uh, borrowing CSS from the thesis classic responsive theme, which is what you should do, right? As long as you can. Um, you should go ahead and reuse code rather than creating code from scratch, especially since it works. But now we're going to now we're going to go directly to our custom CSS and make some other changes. Now, I want to direct your attention to my resources page because I have created a couple of new resources for you. I have a CSS version of a code snippets for Thesis Classic Responsive Scan. It's a CSS file. And then I also have a plain text version of it. All you have to do is click on it to download. And um, actually in my browser, I guess what I really have to do is uh, right click on it and say download. But I'm just going to leave it like this for the time being. But these are code snippets that you can take and uh, and use or modify um, in any way you see fit. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a in a code editor just because it looks better in a code editor. It's not straight black and white. Okay, this is that this is that form in my NetBeans code editor. Okay, these gray, this gray color, this is all um, comments. And then the colored section are the actual code. And what we're going to do is come down and take a look at my remove borders stuff. And the first border I'm going to get rid of is the header border. So if we come over here to custom CSS, you can just paste that here, right? And and um, you can see how this is color coordinated. Uh, it, it's using uh, syntax highlighting to help you see whether or not you've made errors or not. And uh, we haven't made the errors here, so we're going to save the custom CSS. This is saying that in the thing, in the container with a class of header, show no border or border none. All right, if we refresh this, now that border that used to be coming across there is gone. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with this border and with this border. And the, um, the border for the, the border for the content is well, I'm just going to grab the content and the footer borders together. Come back over here and paste that. And so in order to remove the column border for the content column, we're using the first content box child of the columns box and give it a, no border. And then footer has no border. Okay. Save that. Refresh this, and now we don't have any borders there. Now we're also going to do uh, something similar to our menu, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to come back to the menu here in a few minutes.